Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today in this video, we are going to be taking a look at how to set up Twitch alerts on a Mac. So I have a video and I'll link it here, uh, how to set up Twitch alerts if you're on a Windows, but if you're on a Mac, it's a little different and you need to download a different file. So if you want to be able to do this, like you see on the screen there, a uh, little Yoshi going around. So basically it's going to be a follower alert, subscription alert, donation alert, as well as a hosting alert. So if you want that, be able to set it up on your Mac using the OBS version for Mac, stick around and I'll show you how to do it. All right, guys, so we're going to take a look here at Twitch alerts and we're going to be setting it up for Macintosh. So in order to do that, the first thing you need to do, obviously, is have the OBS version that you need to run, the most up to date OBS version, which is 0.12.4 for Mac. And then once you have that version downloaded and installed, you need to then go over to twitchalerts.com, OK, and go ahead and log in. So you see here my Twitch channel is logged in to the Twitch alerts there. Uh, if you're not logged in, basically, there's a little green login button login and link your twitch account up to twitch alerts and then once you've done that go down to where you see alert box underneath stream widgets go to alert box and then once you're there just kind of hang tight leave that there and then open up a new tab i'm going to drop the link down below uh, you need to go to this here it's obs project this is going to be where we can download the plugin we need to install for OBS on a Mac to utilize the browser plugin to show the Twitch alerts on your stream. So once you're here, again, I'm going to drop the link down below. Scroll down until you see this version here. It says Mac slash multi-platform users. Click on that link there. It'll then take you over here to this page here. And then what you need to do is scroll down and you see this one here where it says Mac OS 10. You need to go ahead and click the first link. You want to click the stable link here. Uh, there's really no benefits of going with the 64 bit unless you just have to. Uh, so both of these are very similar, but just click the top one there. So once we click the top one, you'll see it downloading here. As you can see in my browser, it's downloading. And then once it is finished downloading, we're going to install it and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, and then once it's downloaded, you'll see it here as the OBS browser OS 10.dmg. It'll have a whole bunch of letters and numbers. Double click that to go ahead and run the .dmg file and then click on the OBS browser install right here. It looks like a little package right there. And then once you click on that, you'll be able to then see the install instructions come up. Just follow the instructions and you are good to go. Now, once you've installed it, you're going to need to close out of OBS. So if you have OBS open like I do here, you need to go ahead and close out of OBS and then restart the application. And then if you do that, that's going to allow you to reset and you should have this browser plugin. Now, once we have it installed and we have reset OBS, you then are going to be able to go down to where you see sources right here, right next to scenes, click on the addition symbol, like you're adding a new source here, go all the way to the bottom to where you see browser source. Now, once we've clicked on that, we're going to have to name the source. So we can go ahead and name this Twitch alerts with a Z there because I already have one with an S and then click OK. The next thing it's going to ask you is to copy in the URL. So in order for us to do that, we need to go back over to Twitch alerts under the alert box here, right here, this URL, you need to copy that URL. Okay. Once you've copied that URL, open OBS back up and then paste that URL right here where it says URL and then go ahead and click the OK button there. And then once we've done that, we'll have a box here to where we can drag wherever we want it on the screen. You should be able to see that, the little red outline box there. And I'm actually going to remove this one here because I want to show you guys what we just set up will indeed work. And then once you're ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and open up Twitch alerts on my other monitor. And then if I go to test follower alert, Basically, what will happen is once we test the follower alert, it'll come up on our screen. So in case it doesn't work, I'm just saying this because I've had this happen before. Close out of OBS once you have it set up and then reopen OBS. I don't know why you have to do that. And then go back over to Twitch alerts and test the follower alert. And as you can see, there it is. And then basically you can test the donation alert. As you can see, I have a little zombie here. Now, you may be wondering, how do I change the image, the animation, the text? 
uh, as well as the sound. Now, if you go back into the dashboard here within Twitch Alerts, we'll be able to scroll down. And underneath each and every one of these, if we go to Follower Alerts, you can see here I have the little Yoshi guy right here. If I go to Text Animation, I can click and change the different type of text that's going to happen. So we can have it pulse or bounce or do any of that. And then we can even go here and delete the sound that it uses, add our own sound or whatever we want to use. And then under font settings, we can go here, adjust the font size, uh, the font weight, the color, all of that good stuff. Uh, then you can have it centered up here. You can have it to the left, whatever. And then we can do this on subscription alerts, on donation alerts, and on hosting alerts as well. So that's how you change about the settings within Twitch alerts. Now, uh, once you've launched, the one thing that I forgot to mention is you need to make sure you launch this right here. You need to launch this guy right here, and it's going to show up as a lime green box and it does that so it'll show up transparent on your stream so just have that somewhere you can actually minimize that once you've minimized that and then go back into obs it doesn't really matter where it is if you go back there and test the follower alerts it'll come up either way so it doesn't matter if it's on the screen or display you're using i actually have it on my third display minimized so it really doesn't matter where you have that there so remember you got to go to this link here i'm going to drop it down below Install the browser plugin for Mac OBS, and then once you've done that, open up OBS and then add another source and then use the browser source. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. I'm not going into all of it right now, uh, but you can do more stuff than just Twitch alerts. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. Also, follow me over on Twitch. I play all kinds of different games over there. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.